Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be reviewing and testing this brand new Hyundai petrol powered rear roller lawn mowing machine. So when this machine's delivered, it comes all flat packed in a box and there's a bit of an assembly to do, a couple of handle bits and whatever. If you don't know how to do that, then please take a look at my other video. There'll be a link somewhere in the description. You can click on there and see how it's all assembled. However, we've already done that. We're up to this stage. We've got oil in the engine, fuel in the engine. We've charged the battery up and we're almost ready to go mowing. There's just a couple of features we need to have a look at before we start the mower up and cut some grass. First of all, we'll have a look at the height adjuster. Now the height adjuster's over here, and as you can see, we just push it, it's spring-loaded, so there's not a lot of force needed to lift it up and down. We've got two wheels on the front, and instead of wheels on the back, we've got a rear roller, and this adjusts the height of everything, so we've got uniform cutting height all the way around. I'm not sure what it cuts from and to, but this is quite long, it hasn't been cut for a while. I have quickly strimmed around the edge to try and tidy it up so we get a better finish. But I'll put this on probably second to the top and we'll cut it up and see how we get going. If it's not taking too much off, we can drop it down one and see if we can put some stripes on the lawn. Because at the end of the day, that's why you've bought a rear roller mower, isn't it? Now, onto the handles. There's a couple of things here. We've got an electric start, which is fantastic. It is for me anyway, because I don't like bending down, pulling the ropes. However, we've still got the rope just in case the battery runs out or there's a fault in there for some reason, you've got this to be able to start it with. Now to start any mower, and especially these, we'll have to lift up what's called the dead man's handle. We lift this up and as we lift that up, we have a click on there and that enables the engine to engage. That's the safety. If the engine's running, at any time we let this go, it will cut it out dead. Okay, so that's that, that's that running and we're all going and that's the blade spinning round. Don't put your hand underneath to check if it's moving, it is moving. Let it go and it stops down dead. Next, once the blade's moving and everything's going along, we can pull this handle up and this handle is the drive lever. Now as we pull this up, we engage the drive and the drive will pull the mower forward by turning that big ro roller at the back and as the roller turns, it pushes the mower forward, it cuts the grass and then it puts a nice stripe in by flattening the grass behind it. So as we go one way, it'll push the grass over like that. And as we come back the other way, it pushes it over towards us, catches the light differently and produces the famous stripes that we all love. So now we know how to control the mower, let's have a look at starting it up and cutting some grass. Before we jump in and press the red button to get all systems go, oh, which won't work because you can press that down and unless this handle's pulled up, it won't fire. So that's a great safety feature on there. And then when it is running, let it go and it stops. So before we start it, we need to get some fuel through the system. I've got some fuel in here. We need to push this primer bulb in three or four times just to pump a bit of fuel up into the carb. Might take a few more the first time we start it, I'm not sure, but we just got to get the fuel through the system and up to where it needs to be so it can hit the spark and ignite. Now, hopefully we'll turn around here. We'll pull the handle so we've got that's telling the engine that it's ready to go and we push the button, fingers crossed it goes. And there we go, how about that then? Wow, sounds really great that does, I love the sound of a new engine. Yeah, there we go, love the sound of a new engine. Took a little bit of a struggle to start but it's just pumping the fuel through itself so that's all good we know it starts next we'll just fire it up again and we'll just check that the drive works on there and we can go if the drive doesn't work we can adjust it on here however i don't think you'll need to do that from the factory maybe after a few uses things start to move around and settle in a bit and you might have to nip it up but we'll just see whoa how great was that Brilliant, it just flew along, pulls like a train. That's a real strong drive. I like that in a mower, it's a nice positive drive. You pull the lever and away you go. Right, let's go and cut some grass then.
Well, look at that then, eh? What a finish. We've got a 70 meter squared lawn here, so there's quite a bit off camera that you don't see. And as you saw me cutting, I just went quickly round the edge just to create a turning circle for myself and then backwards and forwards to create the stripes. And wow, did it create the stripes. That's all down to the heavy rear roller that's on there. Now, if you're after a mower like this and you'd like to put the stripes in, you're after a petrol one, you wanna be cutting your grass sort of about twice a week. This hasn't been cut for a while. As I said, it's been very hot and it's been dry. So I've been trying to leave a bit on. Now we've got half a grass box of glass, grass clippings in there and they're very long. So we took a lot of grass off really, probably more than we should have, especially in these conditions, but it still looks great. So I'm happy with that. But little and often is the key. Now, there's a couple of features. There's a handle on the front. So if you need to get it up and down steps, you can grab the handle and you can lift it up and down. That's no problem. And then the other thing is, there is the safety key on here. When we start the engine, you can press that down and it won't start. But if you've got people in the shed, especially little ones and they're messing with things, they might pull this up so we can take this out and that's a complete safety then. It won't start, not unless they can give it a hefty tug on this rope, which we all know isn't easy at the same time as holding this for a little one. So that's great. So there you go. A great finish, really. I'm really impressed with it. So there you go then. That's the uh, Hyundai to give it its full name, HYM 430SPER, right? Or the Hyundai petrol powered rear roller mower. 139cc with a 43 centimetre cut. It's done a great job. I'm gonna go and empty the grass box now, clean this down and put it away in the shed and we'll do some tests with it another day. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope it's been meaningful to you. There's two parts, so make sure you check them both out. Thanks for watching. Please give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you can and follow me across all the social media channels. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.